I'm Wes Newsom with LED Dental. Today we're going to take an x-ray of a two-dimensional TMJ shot with a Rayscan Alpha. But before we do that, let's get the computer side taken care of first. We first want to get the computer side ready. So in order to do that from LED imaging, I'm going to click on the Rayscan panoramic icon, which initially gives us a window to choose between panoramic and cephalometric imaging. In this instance, I'm going to choose panoramic. And then this will launch the Rayscan acquisition icon. The first window gives patient information, and for panoramic and supplementary imaging, it's just listing the patient's name as bridged capture, but it is keeping the patient's image in their account. So we can simply click OK, and you'll notice that the machine is initializing. So if the machine was not reset to a home position prior to going into this interface, the machine will actually reset itself for you. So it's unnecessary to click reset after the previous acquisition. Once we're in this interface, we have options to choose our patient type, from a child setting to a small, medium, or large adult. And you'll notice that it defaulted to the medium adult patient once we came into the interface. If these preset sizes are not adequate for you, you can change them using the manual adjustments of KV and MA in the lower left corner. The middle section of this window is our protocol options. This window will default to the standard panoramic image option, which we see here, and it will take your typical panoramic image. The option to the right gives you the ability to do segmented pan images, by clicking this icon, you have a slightly different interface that lets you select or deselect areas that you'd actually like to have imaged. So if you did not need the TMJ in this image, we could gray that out. So the machine will still do the full rotation around the patient, but it's only going to radiate the areas that are listed in white rather than in gray. Below the segmented pan option, we have the ability to do a two-dimensional sinus shot, which would require a slightly different chin rest within the machine and slightly different positioning for the patient, but it still will do the similar rotation around the patient. To the left is a two-dimensional TMJ acquisition option, and what this would let you do is take one rotation around the patient or two rotations around the patient. If you chose to do two rotations, it would actually put your patient's right joint open and closed next to each other and their left joint open and closed next to each other. Below the TMJ option is an external right wing option, and then to the right of that is an orthogonal pan option. And the orthogonal pan basically makes a slightly slower rotation around the patient's teeth. It doesn't get all of the TM joints in the image, but it does reduce some of the overlap in the image. To the right of that, in the orange section, at the top, we have the ability to turn off and on our positioning lasers. We have the ability to put the machine into a ready position. And then we can cancel out of this window if we choose. Once we have our patient positioned, using our positioning lasers and the appropriate chin rests, we would then click ready. The machine would move into a ready position. The LED above the x-ray generator would turn from blue to green. And then once it's green, that indicates that when the user presses the exposure switch and holds it down, that LED will change to yellow and actually begin to emit radiation and acquired image. Before we position our patient for a two-dimensional TMJ acquisition in the Rayscan Alpha, we need to first prepare the machine. So I've already removed the standard temple supports from a standard pan or CT acquisition, and I've installed the TMJ headrests on both the left and right side by loosening and tightening the thumb screws underneath. Now we're ready to put the patient in. And now we're gonna position our patient in the Rayscan Alpha for our 2D TMJ acquisition. But before the patient has come in, I've replaced our temple supports with the special TMJ supports, and I've removed the chin rest. JP, if you would step forward, please and step into the machine and if you would place your hands underneath the chin rest with the on the orange yellow ring and I'm going to turn our temple supports in to where the cones on the temple supports are going to go in your ear to put you in the proper positioning. Is that comfortable? Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn our positioning laser on just to make sure our mid sagittal plane laser is accurate and once we have that lined up I'll instruct the patient to open his mouth fully so that for the first pass around the patient, it will take an image of both the right and left joint with the patient's mouth open. It will complete the rotation and the acquisition. And then I'm gonna instruct the patient to close his mouth for the second rotation so that we have the open and closed joints next to each other in the final image. Now we're ready to take the acquisition. And now we're ready to acquire the image. So I'm gonna press and hold the exposure button for the full rotation. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 844 952-7327 or online at www.ledental.com.